Praise Jesus. So I have the privilege to stand before you again. Uh, it is great joy uh, to hear what God has in his treasures for you. So God has uh, good things in his uh, treasures. And today, and even in the word of God, we are going to start a new theme. So the theme that you are starting today uh, together with others who are going to teach afterwards so we'll be talking about the parables of Jesus. The parables of Jesus. The parables of Jesus. Praise be to God. So Jesus would speak in parables. Uh, for example, the parable of the fig tree and uh, of the bad servants. Uh, the parable of the young rich man. The, the parable of the prodigal son. The good Samaritan. So he would speak through parables. But among those parables, he would speak to you and I. So he'll speak in parables but he was speaking to you and I. So he was speaking to those people who were living there. But as you know, so the, the, the word of God is alive forever. So when we look at the parables today, we realize that he's speaking to you and I. And he would choose to speak through parables. And sometimes his disciples were not able to and then when they were together they would say please repeat what you have then they would say we didn't want to ask you in the multitude but please explain even more press Jesus in yes. this and then Jesus will explain to them because he wanted to transform them into his disciples we are also going to look at the message of Jesus through parables my desire for you is to be attentive and listen to what Jesus is teaching you. Follow carefully and understand what he is teaching you. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. So without further ado, we are going to read in Luke chapter 12. Uh, starting from verse 41 to 48. Luke 12, 41 to 48. And then we read in Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 27. Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 27. So we we'll read in King Rwanda and then in, in English. So let's read in the name of Jesus. Petero aramubazati databuje uwo mugani nitwe twenyine uciriye cyangwa nabantu bose umwami Yesu aramusubiza ati ninde gisonga gikiranuka cy'ubwenge shebuje azasigira abo mu rugo rwe ngo abagerere igerero igihe cyaryo hahirwa uwo mugarago shebuje azaza agasanga ari ho abikora ndababwira ukuri yuko azamwegurira ibyo afite byose ariko uwo mugarago niyibwira ati data buje aratinze agatangira gukubita abagarago nabaje no kurya no kunwa no gusinda shebuja uwo mugarago azaza umunsi atamutegereje ni gihatazi azamucamo kabiri amuhanane nabakiranirwa kandi uwo mugarago waruzi ibyo shebuja ashaka ntitegure ngo akore ibyo ashaka azakubitwa inkone nyinshi ariko wari utabizi agakora ibikwiriye kumuhanisha azakubitwa nke ariko azakubitwa kamemo uwahawe byinshi wese azabazwa byinshi nuwe guriwe byinshi niwe bazarushaho kwaka byinshi imani tugire neza reka nsome nuriya murongo mbe ndangije kandi nkuko abantu bagenewe gupfa rimwe Hanyuma yaho hakaza urubanza imana itugire neza. So let's read in Luke chapter 12 from verse 41. Then Peter said to him, Lord, do you speak this parable only to us or to all people? 
And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, who his master will make a ruler over his household, to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is the servant who his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all he has. But if that servant says to his heart, my master is delaying uh, his coming, and then begins to, to beat the male and female servants, and to eat and drink and be drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant who knew his master's will and did not prepare himself to do according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. But he who did not know yet committed things deserving of stripes shall be beaten few. For everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. And to whom much has been committed, to him they will ask the more. So let's also read in Hebrews chapter 9 verse uh, 27. And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment. Mana data mwizina rya Yesu ngo hayicubahiro muri aka kanya ngo ushize hejuru mana ushirwe hejuru ducishwe bugufi mana nkuzaniye imitima yacu twese abari hano nabadukurikiye nabandi bazakurikira ubu butumwa mana ikiranuka ugira neza mu gitondo watubwiye ngo twigisha ibitugira umumaro uyu munsi mwami urashaka ko tumenya ko turi bisonga ibisonga byawe ibisonga uhaye kuba byo mu gihe cyacu mwami ndagusaba ngo iri jambo uri nyuremo uvugane no muntu mana nizera ko ijambo ryawe ribasha kwirukana abadayimoni n'imyuka mibi yose ifasha ibitekerezo by'abantu iba mu mikorere y'abantu iba mu myumvire y'abantu iba mu buryo abantu bumva ibintu ihinyuza Mwami na Zakarande ibyo byose byihambiriye ku bantu bawe nemera ko ijambo rya wari herekezwa n'imbaraga zihindura umwana w'umuntu iyo yakiri ijambo ryawe Mwami ndasenga ngo twese udushoboze kwakira ijambo ryawe Mwami twe kuba baburana n'ukuri kwawe tuba bemera ko ibyo wavuze ari byo Mwami Yesu ibi wabivuze nta ukunyuze hagati nta wundi muntu wari uhari ni wowe en direct wabyivugiye reka twakira ukuri kwawe wadutumye uratubwira ngo kuri konyine niko gushobora kutubohora ndasenga mu izina rya Yesu ngo twese uko turi hano utubohore mwami reka aho indwara zari zifashe zihunge mu izina rya Yesu mwami reka ubujije buveho haze kumenya no gusobanukirwa mu izina rya Yesu reka mwami ingamba zifatwe zikomeze dusohoke dushikamye tujye gushyira mu bikorwa ibyo tubwiye icyubahiro ni kuzo ndabigushubije mu isina rya Yesu mvugira ngo amen say amen amen inyigisho za Yesu rero mu migane so the teachings of Jesus through a parables yes avuza amagambo akomeye so Jesus said important words mu magambo make so in a few words dori bizavuza this is what he is saying yes arakubwiye ngo so Jesus is telling you ubuzima ufite nubwawe your life belongs to you. No girl. It belongs to you. Where we nine. You in particular. No girl was. It belongs to you personally. I do come in your But you should know where you are leading it. No we move You are not wrestling with it. Someone else. No one No one is going to take it away from you. No girl. It belongs to you. Uchiriho, as you're still alive, ushak, take it wherever you want. I do But you'll be held accountable. Ichakabiri. The second thing. There is the will of God upon your life. So you, you need to, to protect your life. You are the steward of your life. You are the protector of your life. No one else is more accountable to your life than yourself. The one is God who gave it to you. Now Jesus is telling us look to know what 
what God is expecting from you. Search to know the reason why God has put you here Shaka. on earth. Search. Ubimenye. So that you understand. Ubimenye. And once you have understood, Ubikori. you need to put it into practice. Kuko no because if you do not put it into practice, zengo, the Bible says, you are going to be beaten so many stripes. Kandi, and in addition, no tabimenya, and when you are not aware of this, uh, you will you be beaten a few. Ariku but what will be the reason behind? Because once you are here on earth, you have the ability to know. And you also have the right to know. Now, when you sit and become ignorant, so it's not an excuse of not working according to what Jesus is saying. So to know, it concerns you. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. So using everything that you have been given, when you are still in this life, Jesus is saying it is your responsibility. Who you are, or what you are, and your possessions, so using them. So Jesus is reminding you that as you are still alive, it is your responsibility. And he did not even say that. And he's saying beyond that, you'll be held accountable. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. So the last yes, one. So Jesus is telling you uh, laziness is not acceptable. Give a hand clap to Jesus. So in, in these words that we are going to look at in detail, in this parable so Jesus cannot uh, acknowledge or accept laziness. There is no time for laziness. All of us there is something that he gave us. There is something he left us with. There is something that you are. Uh, you have a capability to do something. So there is no time for laziness. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. Amen. So the author of Hebrews is telling you you live once. Tell your neighbor that you are allowed to live once. I face that person and say now you are still alive but you are allowed to live once. And then afterward you will die. After death there will be judgment. Did you see that? Kuvuka. So to, to the birth. All of us were born. And then we leave. And then life comes. But now after this life. You'll die. Of course, you are not dying today. And I don't wish that you die today. But you'll die. Now what happens after death? Tell your neighbor. Hallelujah. So for a responsible Christian, a responsible Christian of his life, Jesus is reminding us that person is, supp is supposed to know that he has been given a short time. And he's supposed to live knowing that it is an opportunity that he has been given. So Jesus is not saying when you be living while being rich. Or when you will be living while being beautiful or handsome. But he has just shown to us that we have life. So as you live, be responsible for your own life. Because afterwards, definitely you will die. Now after death, the one you used to be, what you used to be, and what you are able to do, what you learned, what you possessed, you received it so that you do for the purpose for which God created them. So I repeat this. So Jesus did not say when you believe in while being rich only. But he said only that uh, we are stewards. We are stewards. And that stewardship that was us, he will come back. And then he says, Blessed is the servant. Blessed is the steward. That is you and I. Who lives knowing that Jesus will come back? Who knows that Jesus will come back? And who wants to see Jesus? So please listen. So 
you are wise. So a person living knowing that he's waiting for someone. So among the words we base on ourselves here you know that our vision is to prepare the bride of Christ. So we stand on a word which is written in 1 John chapter 3. So let me tell you who is a visitor. And say, beloved, now we are children of God. And the way you are going to appear has not yet been revealed. But what we know is what? When he's going to appear, we will be resemble like him. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. And who has that hope? That Jesus will come back to take him. So he aligns himself in this life. So you align yourself according to the one you are expecting. So the life you have therefore. I, I like saying it doesn't have spare parts. Uh, it is, it, you live once. So in Hebrew chapter 9. It says you live once. And it is in your hand. And you are the steward of your life. You are the manager of your life. So see how you are a very powerful person. So when you use it in Hauli. It, is, it, it belongs to you. But when you see it and see where you're heading to, it belongs to you. When you commit to change your behavior, it is your life. So when you lead it in useless things, it belongs to you. However, Jesus is announcing to you through a parable that if starting from today on, you should know very well the way you live. You are supposed to live being watched because you are blessed. If you are waiting for the one who gave you the life, as you wait for him being watchful, when you are watchful, without, without slumbering, and without having bad habits, be watchful, knowing very well that anytime Anytime, starting from today, he can come. So the first thing, he's coming. So it will, first of all, you need to die. Uh, it will come before your death. So it means that you as you are still alive, you and I, we have a great give a hand clap to We have a great opportunity. So today you have an opportunity to take our lives and give them a right direction. This is a good news. This is good news. And we were also protected by the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus because together with the blood of Jesus you are able to give a good direction to your life amen. say amen so Jesus did an amazing word so you are the steward of your life I don't know if you remember the story of the prodigal son so one day he sat down and then he looked at his father and also his brother and then he realized that he was fed up with what and then he said, why don't you give me my share? Why don't you give me my share? That was his life, isn't it? And even that share he was given belongs to uh, It was true, it belongs to him. But the problem, he asked for it uh, before the right time. So the Bible tells us that his father gave him So he gave him an opportunity to go and try what he wants. So as you are still here on earth, our Father in heaven can allow you to do whatever you want. And the Bible says, uh, I'm allowed to do everything, but not everything is it's not everything is profitable. Everything you are allowed to do everything. But be careful. Among all those things that you are allowed. Look at what is useful to you and throw what is useful. So that young man departed. And it didn't take long for him to see that uh, he had taken a decision. When he tried to look outside, it realized that it was really dark. So he realized realized that uh, actually he was having a good life at home yes, compared to where he was outside. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Amen. So you need to thank God for what you have. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have. So the life that you have today, that is, that is it. And you need to be grateful. Be grateful for your life. Thank God for the life that you have. So the, the eyes that see what you are lacking, they make you sin. So a child of God who protects his life he's protected well when he rejoices and grateful when he is grateful first of what he has. Ecclesiastes So we're going to read in Ecclesiastes 11 11 Ecclesiastes 11 uh, 7 10 so please listen. You have a responsibility towards your life. You have a responsibility towards your life. You have a responsibility so please listen carefully. Nibibi bikube kure kukubuto nubusore arubusa yesa shime chan. So let's read in Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 11 from verse 7. Truly the light is sweet and it is pleasant for the eyes behold the sun. But if a man lives many years and rejoices in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness for there will be many. All that is coming is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in your youth. And let your heart cheer you in the days of your youth. Walk in the ways of your, your heart and in the sight of your eyes. But know that all these good will bring you into judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from your heart and put away evil from your flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Yes, Hashimitian. Praise Jesus indeed. Ubuzimufiti. So the life that you have. Babgi umusori. So they are telling the young man. Ariko baramgira nao barakuti. They are also speaking to all of us. Imamu wafugu musori. The reason why they are mentioning no, is, no, is the, the youth. Nish. Because the young people, they still have so many ambitions. Babgi umunu wa sufite ibi nubzinshi bi mutra mamutku. So they are speaking to someone who has so many things going through their mind. Aku mvabjo se abikor. And who think they can do everything. Bikarangira nana chimga kozi. And in the end, they do nothing. Babgi umunu. So they are speaking to someone. Who thinks the life belongs to him? Who is saying, I'll do whatever I want with my life? I will drink whatever I want. Because I bought the, the, it for myself. I will leave my wife, wife uh, however I want because I betrothed her. So now these children should have an order. So I'm fed up with this job. And no one should... Uh, Entice me. On all other things where you can say that you can say whatever you want or do whatever you but want. But I want to tell you. So the Ecclesiastes said, Yeah, of course, take it whatever you want. Being the alcohol, or those children, or being the husband you are treating that way, or the wife you are treating that way, or your fellow that you are treating. As you are still in this life, I'm telling you this. There is nothing hidden that will not be revealed. So one day, it will be in the open. So what I'm telling you is this. Unless you are not saved, 
Nakijijwe. But if you are saved indeed. Va mu bibi. So get away from wickedness. Va mu bibi. Get away from Niba wickedness. Niba Yesu yicaye mu mutima wawo. So if Jesus is seated in your heart. Yesu no mucho. Because Jesus is the light. Yesu no muyobozi. Jesus is the leader. Yesu ni nzira. Jesus is the way. Yesu ni imbaraga. Jesus is power. Nushobora kuba uko ushaka. You cannot leave any hound. Ngo no rangiza unamanika maboko ngo Yesu hallelujah. And then raise your hands and give praise no. to Jesus. No. No. Ntabwo bibaho. It doesn't happen that yes, way. Yesarera. Jesus is holy. Imana irera. God is holy. Imana ni imbaraga. Uh, God is a powerful God and he's the one who enables you. So stop leading your life whatever you want. Stop it. And this is what Jesus was saying to us. And this is what the Christ is saying. I like Solomon. Remember that he said that I did not prevent my heart from any pleasure. But in the end he said be careful. I realized that all those pleasures are vanity. So I plead with you today. Get away from wicked things that you call choice. Get away from wicked things that you call choice. Yeah. This is what Jesus is saying. And say, when I come back, because every day he will be counted. So church of Christ, do you know that as Christians we have forgotten this? Do you know that we forgot that we belong to Christ? And we live a life because there's no one watching us. We think when no one is watching us, we apply what we thought about without uh, no But Jesus is telling us a parable and say, be careful. All those things as you are still here on earth, when, when he's going to come back, one by one, first of all, you talk about Jesus that you received. Uh, what was his usefulness in your life? What did he come to do? So the light is good. And there are things that make people more joyful. The, the sun is wonderful. It is good to be at the beach. It is good to dance. And even uh, alcohol makes people merry. And uh, even, even drugs make people merry. So you feel as if you are not stepping on the earth. <laughs> However, I want to tell you, all those things, you should remember that they are deceiving you. They are deceiving you. So put it in order from today. And now Solomon told the youth, and decide where you are supposed to position yourself. Make a choice. Uh, you live once, and where you are taking it, if you make a right decision, you should get away from that way. So that you do not die on that path. So a wise person, he, he counts the number of his days. And even ask God to teach him how to live and say, enable me to live. So what you speak, what you think about, what you put into practice, be careful and check whether it is right. You need to, to align all those things. Because there's something I have observed under the heaven. As we are still here on earth. Everything which is not proper will be alight. And whatever serves the Lord will, will be raised. Amen. Say Amen. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. So what did Jesus teach us in that parable? You have a responsibility towards the opportunities that you encounter. Opportunities that you encounter. All the opportunities that you have today. Opportunities that you have today. So try to think about all the opportunities that you have. Uh, you have parents that us who don't have parents. Yeah. It's true. You have relatives when others do not. You have a job when others do not. You have friends when others do not. 
ufite amaboko harabata yafi you have hands that those who do not have hands ufite ubwenge harabata bufite you have intelligence that those who do not ufite umugabo haruta mufite you have a husband there's someone who doesn't have a husband ufite umugore harumwifuza wamubuza you have a wife there's some a person who is wishing to have a wife wije kure hari ibintu byiza ufite uyu munsi don't go far there are so many opportunities surrounding you today kumenya kubaho muri ubu buzima now knowing how to live in this life no kubaho utekereza uti mfite iki is living thinking about what you have ufite iki what do you have? Ndaje nkubwire mu izina rya Yesu. I want to tell you in the name of Jesus. No shaka baho neza kukwejo ibyo ufite ushobora kuzaba utabifite. You better live well because tomorrow you may not be having what you have today. Ibi ndabikubwira. I'm telling you this. Igihe ufite So the time that you have. Igihe kinini ufite. The, the ample time that you have. No shaka gikoresha. You, you better use it well. Kuko ushobora kugera ahantu udafite igihe. Because you may reach in a situation where you don't Ushobora kugera ahantu cyagihe wapfushije ubusa ukifuza. And you may reach a point where uh, you, 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 you are not happy because of the time you wasted. Now try to think about the time that you have. Think about the time that you have. How do you use it? And what do you use it for? And friends that you have. Influence. The influence that you have. Buri kintu dufite. Every single thing that we have. Dufite. Every single opportunity that we have. For a child of no God. No kugira ngo ubwami serve the kingdom of God. Ariko igisonga kibi. Now a bad steward. Uzukuntu cyajeraga igihe cyacyo na opportunity. Do you know how he managed his time? Ntabwo kibutse ko shebuje azaza. That steward did not remember that the master will come back. Abagaragu nabaja. Now bidding the servants. Bivuga ngo hagata ugiye ni cyanje di. So it means it means that we are saying in the meantime time is Ndabwira uwo mbwira I will speak to whoever I want. I will respond to whoever I want. I will pull the one I love. And I throw away the one I don't want. That means that you don't know that you'll be held accountable. Tell your neighbor you'll be held accountable. So today you have an opportunity to study. And today students have started their holidays. Brethren, if you get to know people who want to go to school but who do not have tuition fees. Now when you go to school you start yawning but there's someone who is desperate seated who wants to go to school am i lying am i lying but there are those who are desiring that. you have a job uh, in the morning when you reach at your job you are insulting people even in your thoughts even in your words and even in actions now tell me where will your blessing come from you have a job uh, do not weep it because you, your salary is not good try so to imagine that even the salary you have there is a person who is desiring. the amount of money you are despising there is someone else who wishes to have that same salary. Opportunities so all the opportunities that come before you, the friends that you have, are beloved. Allow me to tell you about friends. A child of God who has friends who can help him to expand the kingdom of God. And they, they did not take that opportunity. Friends that you do not even tell that Jesus is yes. able to and that Jesus is good. No, when you'll be, be standing before God. When you'll be standing before the throne of judgment. Now the same friends. Those friends. Who are not saved. Who walked with you. When you knew who Jesus is in your life. You'll be held accountable by God. Am I lying? Uh, am I exaggerating? That is the truth from God. You should not have a friend without sharing them where your joy comes from. If it is a, if your friend, if your friends are able to listen to Jesus. The second thing. And if you are able to use them to expand the kingdom of God. Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Are your friends there just to, for your own interest? Are they just to bring the things that you need at home? 
penetat. Brethren, iyo dutekereza ko Yesu azaza. When we think that Jesus will come back. Nishuti zacu zinjira mu murongo w'ubwami bw'Imana. And even our friends are supposed to be in that Zika line. Zikanezerwa kwa guru ubwami bw'Imana. And rejoice to expand the kingdom of God. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. We kuru nishuti zawe kunyungu zawe gusa. You should not draw friends for your own interest. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Uzi kwa hari nabantu bazi abakomeye. Do you know that there are people who know powerful people? I'm telling you the truth. Yes. Indeed. Chan. Indeed. <laughs> I don't want to mention this. But I want to tell you. There are problems that happen in the church. And we know who to call. There are people who know uh, powerful people. So why don't you use that in the interest of the kingdom of God? If you know a person who can solve a particular problem, why don't you use it? The, the problem is to cheat. The problem is to do something wrong. But when you know very well, a person who can solve problems problems the kingdom of God. So please do it. Please do it. Yes, Hashim. Praise Jesus. Do you know that Joseph gave a, a tomb because he was rich? And with, he's not mentioned He was a silent disciple of Jesus. But when the time came, he was used. And he was used by heaven. So brethren, all the opportunities that come before him, all the opportunities that come before you receive all of them to serve the kingdom of God. All that is there to serve the kingdom of God. So that Jesus is glorified in all. So the reason why you do not think about that, you are selfish. So Jesus came to save you alone, to, say, to, to heal your sicknesses, uh, to heal your husband, to give a job. Do you know that he, he, do, he does it? But you need to expand. Agura. Look beyond. Agura. See, look at the big picture. Yes, Jesus is able to do through you even greater things. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know a person who can do something particular? And you know that it can help children of God? I like when people share on WhatsApp groups where, for example, there is a, a job Because you have done your, your part. You have done something good. We have people here who have friends who can serve the kingdom of God in an amazing way. So you need to expand your territories and expand even your vision. Uh, expand the opportunities and that you have. And what you have, look at it in a way that expands the kingdom of God. Praise Jesus in you. So John the Baptist so he told people who had come to repent and do you know that every tree which does not bear good fruits will be cut now these are wise people they asked him what should we do you should be seated here asking yourself what should you do and then John responded to them and he said today there's a person who has an opportunity to have two clothes so take one and give it to the one who doesn't have and the same with food you have an opportunity to have food so share with those who do not have food now the tax collectors asked him and he said you should not ask people beyond what they are supposed to pay Yes, Jesus. So he told every category how Now the soldiers asked how he are about us? He said he should not uh, falsely accuse people. So you should not falsely accuse people. So I'm waving for those who are in the army and the police. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Do you know who a policeman is here? 
Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Hati nimuga sabi mongano. And uh, he said, uh, you should not ask for bribe. Hati kandi wasiri kare ni munyurugwa ni bihembo muhabga. And he said, you soldiers, you, you should be satisfied with the, the rewards that you receive. Fuga ngu amen. Say amen. Amen. Uchiri kuri yisi, As you are still here on earth, uriwe, who you are, amahiru gufite, opportunities that you have, gawe, your life, bufatenez, uh, you know, take it carefully. Take careful everything and God has given to you. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Uri responsable yi bushobozi wahawe. So you are responsible for the skills and abilities that you have. Ibi nuzi gukor. The, your skills. Ibi nuzi gukor. Your skills. Bakungu ibi nuzi gukor. Beloved, the things you know how to do. Ibi nuzi gukor. If they are not there for the glory of God, and you are here and there are so many things that you don't have to do. And you are here and there are so many things that you don't have to do. And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing and this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, "I'm good at doing this." And then you boast and say, that you are able to do. What you learned and what you received in the spirit. So the fact that you have them. And if it is not useful for the kingdom of God. You'll be held accountable. So God who gave them to you. In this life. This particular life. It should be useful. Papa Gaston. When you. Oya na akome na mashi mariage. Uh, he's not clapping his hands. Papa Gaston, no mo, no mo hands. Papa Gaston is an artist. For eh, example. no mo hands. He's a, a good artist. Mbaku mbuje kuzare viza kuru. I wish that you can see his artwork. No mo hands ukome. Uh, he's a uh, very good artist. Uh, he's good at drawing. Ukore binu bzinsh. So he does so many things. Aradiyumvis. So he has heard what I was saying. Kubuzi kukori chini. So the fact that you know to do what I be how we. If you have that skill or that ability. Kubuzi kukori bzobin. You know to you know how to do those. Ura be shoboy. You are able to do. Ari kubi chizi jende. But who is benefiting from that? Be chizi jende. Who is benefiting from? Ura wizi chiba zo chiba muva na bimana. Now this is the issue with our children of. Habamo kategori bziri. There are two categories. Harabanu mubi yoto vuga. There are people like the same this time as we speak. Bear with me to say this. Baba baba vuga ngonga oni mo babugi re ni baturi ebe baduhe. I was saying, please tell them they want they, they need to give us back what they have. Bahora receivers. They are always receivers. Mubi zane. So bring. Ni bababugi re. They they request them to give to us. No. No. If you want to receive, you need to give. This is what the word of God says. Whenever you be attacked by the spirit of saying people do not know that you, the things are upside down. So the word of God says that you also have something to give back. So beloved friends of God, with Jesus there is no jobless person. If you don't have a job at home, so when they, they are putting on the stuff, where are you? Yeah. So they have to put on the stuff for you. And even prepare beans for you. And even sweep the house for you. And then you just sleep. And then you come to church and say, pray for me because I'm jobless. You continue to be a jobless forever because you don't even do household works. I'm telling you the truth. This is how God looks at things. Uh, with Jesus, there's no jobless person. Where, where you are. When you start saying you don't have a job, start addressing things uh, in your home. Start from your home. Do things with the, which, which happens over there. Be useful even at home. The young people. Do you know what it means to be useful? Yeah. You work in the morning colliding with your mother and say it is a pity to have a degree and without a job. Brother, and then you say, there's nothing bad like having a degree. Without, but you have a degree, but you, can, you can't even cook at home. You can't even fetch water at home. 
that is such God in heaven looks at such details. I'm telling you, God in heaven looks at such details. Then, you spend the whole day, you know, moving around in terms of Of course, it's one thing I want to tell you. If you continue in that way, you are going to be a thief. No, I'm not a prophet of doom, but uh, I want to tell you because you do not accept the basic things, so you'll try your old ways to whatever you want. But I'm giving you an advice. Starting from today, start from that basic level. Be useful. Uh, grow up as you have been there. Uh, partner with those who are there. Help those who are there. Uh, maybe they need you. you don't know. But try to imagine to give food to a person every day who doesn't work. When they have what? Degree. When that person has a degree. You may hang your degree, uh, but humble yourself and, and even wash the cloth so that your parents can rejoice and say, even though you are jobless, at least you are useful. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that what I'm telling you, this is also a look at in You may sit here and say, I have not been given a responsibility. But can we have a responsibility for each one of you? But those who are wise, they know how to look for their own job. Those who are wise, they know how to be useful in without even designating them to do something. Are you angry at me? Uh, you can be angry, but I don't mean to tell you that. Even though you complete the, 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 the ministry class, you are not able to have a responsibility for the church. But whatever you are able to do, if you know how to paint, for example, come and I'll tell you where you can paint. And if you can't, I don't have that place. Hara hari, hara hara hara. Because there is a place where that needs to be painted. And if you know how to construct. <laughs> if you are a mason. Who knows how to build a house? So thank you. Benedat. Brethren. So I want to tell you Jesus would tell you you knew how to do this as you were waiting for a job you would have used it for the interest of others. So for Jesus there is no jobless person. So you are the God of your own life. You are the God of the opportunities. You are a God. And I have given you possessions. So use them in the meantime. Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. So let's proceed. So your skills and abilities. Whether you can cook. So I'm going to read in First Samuel. Uh, so those who have Bibles in English you read in the meantime. Nimunshakire so who was that skillful uh, who was that skillful person? It was David. Was David. Do you know that David before becoming a king actually it is the hub that took him to the king's throne. But now you, you are refusing to use what you have. Well, how comes? Um, maybe you think that no one will see that. But one single thing can give me an That that you have been given. What you know how to do. Why don't you avail yourself? You can say um, I can iron for example. Do you know that young men do iron nowadays? But instead of lacking food, you can even iron. David iron. So in our, now Jesus David the harp. They knew that he was very good at playing the harp. But now today, there are people who cannot even come here and say, I don't have a voice. 
But I know that there are backers. So backers are those who can sing behind others. Like so you can. So you can come and stand here behind, and then we, we see the backers. So things pertaining to expansion of the kingdom and rejoice God are so many. So you should not be like the lame person who was up at side uh, uh, who will say I'll go there whenever I want. There are times I want to get involved. But whenever I want to get involved, whenever I wanted to get in, I realized that others So now that this is your the issue with you. When others are you? So whatever you are able to do, do it. You should not say others have done it before me. So uh, David reached the king's palace. And he was always observing. And there is a spirit which was upon him and he knew that he would live in that place. So I want to tell you this. So those who are wise, they live by the wisdom. So when if God makes you pass somewhere, you need to position yourself and say, I'm here and I will not depart from you. And you say, I am here in the name of Jesus. And then you see how heaven will come and down. You. And then you will make others useful. Jesus does not like an unfruitful life. An unfruitful life, Jesus does not like it. So the last thing, you are responsible for your possessions. Because uh, if we ask people to come and work, some people may shy away, but I want to tell you that it is God who gives all that that is needed. Okay, so you are responsible for your possessions. And often children of God, it is easy to be told about our time, about our skills, uh, about what we are able to do. We can even talk about the opportunity that is given. But when we are told that we will be held accountable based on our possessions, it becomes an issue. Your houses, your cars, your money, your salary, how can they give praise to God? And this is what Jesus was talking about. You receive them for the glory of God. We receive them for the glory of God. So in Proverbs, uh, chapter 3, chapter 9. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruit of all your increase. When you know that you live while well, waiting for Jesus who will come and uh, be held responsible, no one will teach you about giving the, your first fruits. No one will teach you about the first. You need, you will not need someone to teach you. This. Uh, and you know that your first fruits, you offer them to God. And you will know that He who gives you strength uh, is the one who needs your first fruits. So you should not give the tithe as uh, an obligation. You should not do it that way. So if you want to give the tithe as an obligation, without seeing God behind, without understanding the, the principle of the first fruit, don't do it. 
kuko nta mugishurimo because there is no blessing that uzabukijije abuha so it will be again to those you are giving to ariko wowe ntuzunguka but it will not be again to you ntabwo uzabukoranya umutima wabyo and you do not do it with the right imiganura yacu so our first fruits ibyambere byiza bya buri bintu byose imana yaguhaye the, the the first of everything that we receive from god ndatangari yabantu bagiye kujya mu mazumashya i'm amazed when people are about to start living in a new houses bakamenya kuyase and then pray for them murabizi namwe byo are you aware of that agasengera inzu a person would pray for his house or house ariko yabona amafaranga but when they receive money nta hi cyacumi imana they don't give a tithe to god utanga inzu so he who gives a house ni utanga umushahara he's he's the one who gives ni utanga matungo and who gives even ni utanga imirima and who gives fuel ni ugufasha kweza and who enables even to have a harvest ni umwe he's one Numwe it is one abantu bakagira imodoka so people would have vehicles for example bakayisengera and pray for it bakayirambika ho kiganza and even lay their hands on it kandi nibyo and it is good kurya haba hari ahantu ubwira imana uti imana ndagushima because you are telling god i'm being grateful yes nibyo it is good to do ikintu cyose wabonye so everything that you have received gihe imana dedicated to god gira imana speak to god kuko no ubwira imana ibyimodoka yawe because when you tell god about your vehicle nabuza abashije mu gutanga lift you not be selfish in giving a right and god will even lead you to how to request people so that you can Hallelujah. give them a the right so when you say oh lord i thank you for the house you have built for me another words they're saying lord i allow you to even bring whoever you want so that they can oh, yeah, be accommodated yes, here so give a hand clap to jesus yeah so when you say oh lord i give you my first fruit so it's saying i'm grateful oh lord because you gave me this opportunity and i thank you that you gave me strength to receive this job. and i accept that if i'm still alive today it's by your power so i'm bringing to you the first fruit and you not wrestle with your heart you will know that as long as you are still here on earth, you and what you have received is there to give glory to the name of god so there's a priest in 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 france so he went to a parish called lyon so when he went there so he was late so when he looked at outside and then he saw so many vehicles and you know they have a burden for people who are poor and then he was amazed he said there are no poor people here so he entered so they started their mass. so at the end so when he was going to look at the offering and they said actually there are no rich people here you he didn't understand when he looked at the vehicles uh, all the vehicles that were there and he said there is no poor there are no poor persons here. just because he so many people. so now after the end of their service so when they receive the offering and he saw only coins and he said actually there are no rich people here beloved brother who you are and who you are and your possession your time and what you learned see how they can give glory to god and you are also responsible for what you've just been told what you've just been told right now you have a responsibility to gather on this particular date of 14th July 2019 now you have heard this in your ears and you will be held accountable by God so in Matthew Matthew Mark rather before arababwira ati muzirika nibyo mwumva urugero mugeramo nirwo muzagererwamo kandi muzarushirizwa kuko ufite azahabwa kandi udafite azakwa n'icyo yaravite ibyo wumva byitondere so take heed of what you hear 
ufite inshingano yo kurinda ibyo wumva and you have responsibility uyu munsi urize so today you have learned na uzavuge ngo ntiwize you should not say that you did not learn uzitwaze kuvuga ngo sinamenye you should not use an excuse and say you didn't know umunyabenge ashaka kumenya ubushake bwiwe a wise person has the zeal to know the will of god bibili ramira muri yakobo ngo ubuze ubwenge nabusabye and the bible tells me in james whoever lacks wisdom please ask for it you have the zeal to know the reason why god has put you on the earth itonde umwami yesa atazagaruka kugutwara agasanga wirwaga uvutagura abo yaguhaye be careful so that when the, the lord will come to take you back you find you beating those abo yaguhaye ninde no mubiri wawe so he entrusted you with your body utwaye ute how are you handling your body igihe yaguhaye so the time he has given to you ugikoresha how do you use your time ubwenge yaguhaye so the intelligence so wisdom that is given how do you use them ubutunzi yaguhaye your possessions you see bikora bite how do you use them inshuti ufite friends that you have ibyo ufite your possessions amahirwe ufite opportunities that you have bizamura bite izina rya yesu how do they raise the name of jesus urakomeye so you are powerful uri umuntu ukomeye you are a powerful person yes ashim praise jesus paul aravuga ati so paul said natwe icyo dusabwa what we are asked nuko tube bisonga byiza it to be good stewards inyigisho yange so my teaching yitwaga ngo uh, this was the the title tube bisonga byiza let us be good stewards mu gihe cyacu in our time mu gihe cyacu in our time tube bisonga byiza let us be good stewards ngiye kugusaba so i'm going to ask you gutekereze kubyo wumvise to meditate on what have just ubusonga bwawe so your stewardship ubuzima bwa ubutwaye ute how are you handling your life eske buheshwa imana icyubahiro is it giving glory to god ibyubamo biheshwa imana icyubahiro uh, what what you are busy doing does it glorify god but there is good news ushobora guhindura you can change today yes ara hari ngo gushoboze jesus is there to enable you hari imbaraga muri yesu and there is power in jesus hari imbaraga zishoboza abashaka and there is power that enables those hari imbaraga zishoboza biyemeza there is power for, for those who are committed ndumva nshaka kubwira umuntu uyahuza inzoga I, i want to tell a person who is in that in alcohol inzoga ntago zimara umubabaro Uh, alcohol does not take away pain. Ndagira nkubwira inzoga ndizimara umubabaro. I want to tell you alcohol does not take away pain. Ibiyo bya bwenge iharya nibiki. Ibiyo bya bwenge ntibimara umubabaro. Alcohol and drugs do not take away. Amatabi ntabwo ashobora kuguhindurira statue. Uh, Tabago cannot change your status. Hindura. So you need to change. Hindura. You need to change. Hamwe na Yesu hindura. Uh, together with Jesus please change. Hitamoneza. And make the right choice. Hitamoneza. Make the right choice. Witinya ngo nibizashoboka. Don't be scared and say it will not be possible. Humura bizashoboka. Don't worry it will be possible. Hindura. Please change. Hindura. Change. Birashoboka ko ibyo bintu bikorera bo mubana. It is possible that you do that to those who live with you or your friends. Igihiriri mugenda na. Or the crowd you move with. Nibukunda Yesu. But if you love Jesus. Uyu munsi wasezereho mu izina rya Yesu. You need to bid farewell to them from today. Aho kugira ngo bakunage mu mwobo. Instead of them throwing you. Bo barawemeye. Because they accepted to go that. Bo barawemeye. They accepted to go that. Hindura. But you need to change. Hindura. Please change. Fatikemezo. Make a decision. Uyu munsi. From today. Cyo kuvuga ngo ibintu nibihesha imana icyubahiro. Say this does not glorify. Reka twiyemeze kubaho duhesha imana icyubahiro. Let's commit ourselves to live as we glorify God. Tore ro tubeho duhesha imana icyubahiro. Let's live as we glorify God. Ayo mashina yanyu. Inkuru nziza mbafitiye nuko ibihe tugezemo So the good news I have to you to, for you is that the times you are in Ni byintwarane Ah times for heroes Ni byabantu biyemeza Ah times for those who are committed Ibishuko ntibizabura Ah uh, because there be so many things Inshuti to be seen Inshuti bintu zizabura And even bad friends we always Abiyemeza gukurikira izo nzira ni bazabura And even those who are committed to follow such wicked ways we always be there But personally you need to make the right choice Ntamukubutunzi bwa bugiye gukorera imana Make a decision that your possessions will be used for Ndakubwiza kuri niyo security yawe I'm telling you that will be your protection Reka bikorera imana Let them serve the Lord Ubwenge bwawe Your intelligence Ibyo shobo what you are able to do reka bikorera imana let them serve god kandi wishimira amahirwe ufite mu buzima and also rejoice for the opportunities you have nimwe icharire aho muri mbasengere so let's uh, we're going to pray for you umuntu tari wahamagara uwo yesu kristo waduhaye imibereho if you have not yet called upon jesus in your life akaba ari hano and you are with us akaba tarahamagara yesu and you have not yet called upon jesus uko yesu ni uduhikerekezo because it is jesus who gives us the direction he forgives our sins and our iniquities sansu buzima bwa and he gives the right direction to our life and he does not even stop from there and he also gives us power to change 
uhari nagira cyo gusa ndagusaba uguma ho wibere yari kugira urya gusa If you are here and you want to receive Jesus just raise your yes, hand Yesa gumugisha ndakubonye May Jesus bless you Yesa gumugisha ndakubonye nawe ndakubonye Nawe ndakubonye nawe ndakubonye nawe 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 Mwese uko muri ndaza kubabwira ngo mubonane n'umukozi w'Imana mubaye nko 89 murabona n'umukozi w'Imana ariko mwemere mbasengere Aho muraho ngaho mbasengere Uvuga uti mwami Yesu uyu munsi nemeye ko ndu munyabza Nguhamagaye mu buzima bwanje mu mibereho yanje ndagushimira mwami Yesu kumba bari libza habza nje vzos ibzo na koze vjos ibzo nibuka nibzo nibuka ura koze kumba bari ura koze kumba bari ura koze kumba bari mga miyesu ngu hayu uzi mabuganji ubu yobore unshoboze unbashish unfash unshoboze urakoze mwami Yesu mwami imana igira neza nkweritsa ababene data baguhamagaye ngo ubu mwami w'ubuzima bwabo ndagushimira kugiye kugendera muri bo ukaba imana yabo bakaba bahungu n'abakobwa bawo ubiyereke mugendane ubashoboze uwabashishe baneshise baneshe ibya ari byara baneshije ubereke ko waje ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro mu izina rya wirigera Yesu amen ndaza kubasaba ko mubonana n'umukozi w'Imana Elda Musoni hagarara mwese none aha mukanya muraza kubonana nawe aho muza kubona hagaze mubonane nawe aragira ibintu ababwira muri ikenda nababonye mu mukurikire uyu mu papa Musoni namwe abandi mwicariye so all of you as you are still seated Ngiye kubasengera nisengera I'm going to pray for you and praying for myself as well Nibande bumva bafasha ingamba yo kubaho bategereje umwami Yesu Who are those who decided to commit themselves to live as they wait for the Lord Jesus Wizere ko agiye kubigushoboza And believe that he's going to enable Ugira ikintu ubona gikomeye You should not look at it as if it's Ugira ikintu ubona kiruhije You should not look at it as if it's difficult Humura Don't worry Nuvugisha ukuri ku mutima When you are honest in your heart Aragushoboza He will enable you Reka dusenge so Let's pray Umwami Imana ishobora byose Mu izina rya Yesu ngushimiye jambo ryawe ngushimiye kutwibutsa ngo tumenye neza ko turi muri ubu buzima uburyo tubaho uko dutwara ubuzima ibyemezo dufata namaboko yacu n'imitwe yacu hari umunsi uzatubaza icyo twabimajije mwami waduhaye amaboko uduha amashuri uduha ubwenge mwami imana karemano uduha impano z'umwuka kugira ngo zizamure icyubahiro kizina ryawe utubabarira inshuro zose twarebye inyungu zacu buri kintu tukagikurura kidujya tukishyira mwami buri kintu tukareba ico cyatumarira uyu munsi tuje imbere yawe tugusaba imbabazi turagusaba ngo guhera uyu munsi duha imbaraga humura amaso yacu tubibisonga byiza bikora mu gihe cyacu Buri kintu cyose dufite cyama mazizi na ryawe. Buri kintu cyose dushoboye cyama mazizi na ryawe. Buri kintu cyose tuzi cyama mazizi na ryawe. Ibyo duha kumenya cyama mazizi na ryawe. Ijambo ryawe ryatubwiye ngo hahirwa umugara guzasanga yarari ho akora. Iwa uratubwiye ngo nta munebwe ubayo, nta mushomera ubayo. Mwami Imana no dafite akazi abari ho akoresha impano ze. Mwami dukize kwicara Dukize kwicara turebera abakora dukize kwicara dutegereje abaza kudukorera dukize kwicara dutegereje abaza kuduha dufashe duhaguruke dukoresha ibyo waduhaye kuko kuri rya munsi uzabitubaza turinde kuzakubitwa inkoni zuko twumvise nti dushake kumvira duhe kumva twumvire mwami tuba bana obeisant twakira ijambo ryawe tumenye kuduhaye ubuzima bumwe bumwe gusa kandi tugomba kubyaza umusaruro ndasengera umuntu wese wumvise iri jambo ngo ubuzima bwe abugira ubw'inyungu kubgawe byari umusaruro bubuzima bw'umusaruro mwinshi bubu 
ubuzima bwiza mu gihe ki yabo umwana muto yabo umukobwa yabo umuhungu yabo mu mama yabo mu papa yabo umusaza yabo umukecu mwami Yesu Kristo turiho muri generation yacu reka mwami tuzana impinduka ku gihe cyacu dukoresheje ibyo waduhaye urakoze mwuka wera kugiye kudushoboza urakoze kuduha imbaraga urakoze kuduha kwemera urakoze kutugenda inyoma kugira ngo dushoboze Icyo bahero ni kuzo bikomeze bibi bya mwizi na rya Yesu. Vuga ngo amen. Say amen. Imani duhana umugisha. God bless all of us together. Mwakoze. Ukawera ndakunyotewe. Wiruganze muri nje. Unyigishe umindure uniyobore. Wekuri njange dose. Shaka, mukawe.